Oh, the long-awaited festive season is upon us and the last thing you need to be is broke right after the holidays. Here are the coupons. The coupons? Yeah, here. Max, you use coupons? <laughs> I had no idea. So don't you worry because I got you covered and today I will share with you a few simple hacks to cut back on your Christmas budget. So the first tip today is traveling, which is pretty big for a lot of people who do not live with their families, all right? So the first thing you need to do is find the least busy days to travel on, you know, because they often translate to what? Cheaper prices. That's true. For example, travel on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, or Saturdays, you know? Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Yeah! Now, if you're planning to fly on Christmas Day, that might actually be a bad idea because you will pay significantly more money, okay? If you cannot make it to your family before Christmas, why not try something different and go there after the new year? I mean, it's not necessarily when you celebrate the holidays, it's actually how you celebrate it. next one to cut back on is definitely decorations okay so just hold on let me call Santa real quick well hello Santa um yeah 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 I want my house to look festive and you know beautiful with decorations but I also don't want to go broke what should I do oh okay okay thank you all right so Santa had a pretty good idea this is what he said he said I should think about what I might have a good supply of For example, if I have a ton of Christmas cards I received during the previous holidays, I should definitely use those to decorate my home, you know, tap them to my windows, put them up on my refrigerator. Also, he suggested I should string them up in the doorways as a garland, and he suggested I should check Google for more ideas. Thank you, Santa. Now, this next tip is about gifts. Okay, don't act as if Christmas is a surprise because it is not a surprise, okay? You have it on the same day every single year, which means you have about 340 days to plan for Christmas gifts. I've got lots of stuff in my toy box that would make a good present. You know, seeing that it's already December and a little too late for you to go for early Christmas shopping um, this year, you can donate your time instead of buying physical presents. Merry Christmas. Kevin! Merry Christmas! I got something for you. Like offering to babysit or walk a friend's dog can go a really, really long way. And also, it's mostly the thought that really matters, not the size of the gift. And the last and final tip is party, okay? Christmas party. Yeah, let's go partying on a budget. Okay, before you start spending, spending, and spending, make a list of everything you need for the party and the list of people you're planning to invite. You know, next thing you should do is make sure that everyone tries to bring at least one item and help set up the party. This way you don't run out of money and still make sure everyone protects in the fun. Also, it is very wise to pick a theme that does not require a lot of heavy duty spending. So there you go, if you love hosting Christmas parties or you love all the traditions that are attached to the Christmas holiday, you should definitely go for it. But make sure not to break the bank while at it and also don't overspend just because you're trying to keep up with your neighbors. Instead, focus on what really matters the most and try to fit in with your budget. Remember to keep the costs really low and the spirit really high. I'm dreaming of a and please like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to share your Christmas budgeting tips right below because I'll be reading.